Good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. It's time for the six and six. Uh, all right, time for the six and six. Hopefully the McGann kids are up right now. Oh, yeah, nice, yes. uh, number six, the recent Masters Golf Tournament got us thinking, how much do caddies actually make? Uh, a lot. Uh, professional caddies get weekly paychecks from their player, and in most cases, they also get a cut of the player's winnings. Each deal is private and unique to the player and the caddy, but the general rule is uh, the 10-7-5 payout. 10% for a win, 7% wow. for placement in the top 10, and 5% for everything else. Wow. So this year's winner, Scotty Scheffler, won $3.6 million, which means his caddy, Ted Scott, likely walked away with 360 grand. Wow. To just walk around carrying it. How about it? But think about all those players that are on the tour and not winning. And you're still caddying, 5%. do you still 5% of what? Still 180 lot, grand. Oh, yeah, what they win, that's what they right. What they win. Yeah. 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 Isn't it more than just carrying the thing, though? Don't you need to know what Listen, I take 15 grand to walk on yeah. theory, to carry but... somebody's clubs for four <laughs> yeah. days. Like the guys who are really working are the guys who are caddying for guys like me where the ball's in the woods <laughs> and they're into having to dive into the that's lake right. to get your you're ball like, here's out. A, here's a crisp 20. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Go get it. I don't know what Paul is in the hole. You're right. It's in the hole. Uh, all right. Number five. Sometimes, you know, Larry, you need a hug. Larry's oh, the one do. here that always needs a hug. Well, this way, you don't have to have anyone actually hug you. You could just use this Sleep Vantage Body Hug Bag. Wow. It's a four way sleeping bag with stretchable fabric. So basically, it's just swaddling for grown ups. Mm. And it has an opening at the bottom. Robin wouldn't use this because she doesn't like feet, but your feet, if they get hot, you can stick them out the bottom. Wow. All good. It's 99 bucks on the Japan Trend Shop if you need uh, it. Some good uh, swaddling. Steel. There we go. Mm. All right, number four. This one's for people looking for a bit of nostalgia. It's the Quirky Writer, a keyboard designed to look like an old school typewriter. You're in, if you're in the know, it resembles your grandma's Underwood and Ala <laughs> Betty. See? <laughs> Underwood. It's an Underwood typewriter, see? Yeah. It even has a carriage return and a pair of knobs on each side. So you can, you know, press. Mm. You can oh get it gosh. into your, you get the big scoop into your editor. Yeah. It also has a stand at the top so you can use it to hold your tablet or smartphone. It has Bluetooth. $199. Uh, there you go. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. People like that clicking yeah. sensation, I think. Mm. <laughs> All right, number three, we're looking at more strange hobbies. Uh, you might want to put down your Cheerios What's for this one. Oh, no. It's naval fluff collecting. Oh, are you please what? stop it. A man named Graham Barker was awarded the Guinness World Record for the most stuff collected huh. from his navel. Yeah. Ew. And he started back in 1984. He kept it all neatly labeled in jars. Mm. Ew. Hope he keeps the top on to keep that smell yeah. in, too. Oh, my God. When asked why he collected naval fluff, his answer was simple. Why not? Mm. The fluff jars were uh, reportedly sold to a museum <laughs> uh, in the mid-2000s. Ah, good for him. Good for him is right. No. Everyone's got hobbies. All right. Mm -hmm. It's not judge. I'm judging. Um, number two, if you've got a problem, maybe we can solve it. The woman agreed to be her best friend's bridesmaid. Then she found out the wedding's taking place in a small remote town in Scandinavia. When it's all said and done, it's going to cost the woman eight grand. Yep. Wow. Uh, not only that, she'll need two dresses, one for the reception and another <laughs> no. traditional Scandinavian outfit worn for certain events. No. She posted her idea on Reddit uh, to lie and say she's got house repairs and she can't afford to attend the wedding. Uh, here's the thing. She's got the money, but she's saving it for a trip to Japan with her husband. Sure. And oh, yeah, if this th changes anything, the bride-to-be attended this woman's wedding in Alaska. Uh, oh, there you go. Now you got it. it. Yeah. Yeah, no, that changes everything. Right. It's one thing if you don't have the money, but you do have the money. Well, did she attend the wedding in Alaska or was she a bridesmaid in the wedding in Alaska? That's a good point. Because uh, that's, that's also a good point. That's the difference. So well, that's mm. a big ask. Just say no. Just say it's too much money for me. And I'm sure her friend will have no idea it's her in that anonymous posting right. talking about a wedding in Scandinavia. In Scandinavia. Yeah. 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 So her problem might be solved for her. Yeah. There you go. Uh, number one, it's Tuesday. Let's talk about zebras. Did you know zebras can bark? Is it Tuesday? Uh, because they can. It's, it's Wednesday. It's actually Wednesday. Wednesday. I was say it's Thank you. Wednesday. Uh, Isn't that precious right there? Oh. Let's re edit this and do it right. 
I'm sorry. Plain zebras bark like dogs, and they do this to gain the attention of other zebras or to acknowledge other zebras upon meeting them. It's distinct and matches the bark of a small dog. Let's listen to some oh, zebra no. sounds right now. Well, it doesn't sound like a bark no. to me. Yeah, well, let's see. Let's listen like to bird. another one. That sounds like a pig. Yeah. Are you sure you're playing the right song? I am. You're selling me a bill of goods here. Listen, yeah. this is from BarkingZebraTours.com. They know what they're doing. <laughs> wow. One more. That's a horse. Yeah, the first one. It's terrible. That's... They don't bark. It's a lie. There's a lot of disparity in this story. Yeah, I'm not buying it, Larry. This is how we lose our credibility. Well, yeah. well we lost it when we said it was Tuesday. It's <laughs> <Right? Wednesday. laughs> That's a six and six. Yeah, that's probably the least of our problems. We can't problems. even get the day of the week right. Yeah. right. Well, 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 you look cute. It's how you have multiple channels on the cute. dial. Oh, we're still on camera. Uh, uh, here's what's happening uh, with our weather. We're looking at temperatures here this morning.